Today on Rise and Be Healed. So she's up here. The pain is gone. Come it's on, gone. somebody praise him. Come here, honey. Come here. Come here. Stop. Hello. Greetings to you in the precious name of our wonderful Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And welcome to our Rise and Be Healed broadcast. I'm Bishop Robin Dinanat. And it's always a joy and a privilege to come into your house through this television broadcast to share the wonderful love of Jesus Christ as our personal Lord and Savior. I believe that you did not tune into this broadcast by chance or by accident, but I believe that it's a divine plan of God that you are watching me right now. I believe that God has something in store for you. Whatever you're going through right now, I know the answer is in this broadcast for you. I'm gonna take you into a powerful and wonderful miracle crusade um, that we have just conducted in Trinidad and Tobago where I've seen the miracle move of God. So that brings me back to the portion of scripture that says, Jesus said, I am the same yesterday, today and forevermore. He will be the same. That is to tell me that God still works miracle. 2,000 years ago when Jesus walks upon the face of this earth, he healed a blind man, he raised the dead, he healed the sick and every sort of disease were healed when Jesus prayed for them. And he is that same Jesus that works signs, wonders and miracles today. You know, I can challenge your heart right before my very eyes in this clip that I'm about to show you in our Trinidad Crusade. Blind eyes open. So much miracles happen. Probably some of you that are watching me right now, you attended that crusade and you can testify of what I'm saying. But today I want to assure you that God has in store for you a miracle. So I want you to sit back, I want you to relax and I want you to look at this clip. But open up your heart and believe that God will work your miracle today. And if you don't know Jesus Christ as personal Lord and Savior, I'm gonna encourage you with this. He's real, he is a savior, he is the deliverer, he is the healer. But let me take you straight into this uh, powerful, life-changing miracle crusade. I'll come back at the end of the program and I will pray with you and believe God for your miracle. The same God that works signs, wonders and miracles in what I'm about to show you is that same God will work your miracle today. Come on, just lift up your hands and put your hands together and praise Him tonight. Can we praise Him tonight? Hallelujah. How much of you know He's in control of your life tonight? Do you believe He's Alpha tonight? Do you believe He's Omega tonight? Come on, all across this field, I want you to lift up your hands. Bless His name. we give you glory for whatever you have started last night and we give you the glory for the greater things you're about to do tonight in this place oh god father for you're a god that share your glory with no man and so father we bow our hearts Just slip those hands up towards heaven tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, there is something powerful about declaring Jesus Christ. There's something powerful about worship. I was praying in the background and I, and I could have felt the worship that was going on before. And I look up to the heavens and I said, God, you know, Nicole, there's one thing that's all God wants. God doesn't want us to feed him. God doesn't want us to clothe him. God doesn't want us to do anything for him. And when you were worshiping there, I look up to the heavens and I say, God, that is exactly 
what you want. And I could have felt that anointing throughout the worship. I want to give you that opportunity here tonight. Lift your hands. Stay right here quiet. Lift those hands. Declare it, people of God. My God, I'm standing right here in worship and I already start sensing the healing virtue of God later on. There's somebody right here on my left. You had a stomach disorder. You actually came in here with such a discomfort tonight. Lay hand on yourself. God is healing you right now. God is healing you right now. I'm sensing a healing virtue. There's a woman you're getting healed right now from that discomfort. Jesus. Hallelujah. Nicole, I, I apologize if I cut you like that, but there's a song, Rise and Be Healed. Can you do that for me? Rise and be healed Jesus. in the name I don't know if you're feeling something, but there's a healing rain in this territory right now. There's a healing rain in this atmosphere right now. And ladies and gentlemen, this is an opportunity you're having to experience God's personal touch in Jesus' name. There's somebody you have a lump somewhere in your body. That lump is disappearing right now. It's disappearing. Check yourself. You know you came in with it. I don't know if you're scared to operate on it. But God is healing you right now. Whoever that is, I want to personally lay hand. Make sure I know that God is touching you. The fire of God is burning that lump out in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. I release your healing.
Don't be distracted. You don't worry what's happening. I sense there's cysts coming out of people right now. There's cysts coming out of people right now. Somebody is getting healed from cancer. I just hear it from the Holy Spirit. Somebody is getting healed from cancer right now. I speak the word of the Holy Ghost over your life. I command healing to come in your body right now. Loose, loose. the Holy Ghost on her right there. Do you see what the power of God is doing? Pastor, Jesus, I want God to be glorified tonight. Pastor, tell us what God started. Jesus. Bishop, guys, get us this mic. Yes, Bishop. What is happening? She felt God's presence tonight. For her eyes, she's trusting God. And she just wanted to come up. Yeah, she felt God's presence upon her body and the eyes. She said her eyes right now. She said she's experiencing something in her eyes right now. Can we give God glory? Come on, hallelujah. Bring her, come, come here. Come here, honey. Father, I thank you for total, total. Bishop, he had pain on his right side. He felt the pain gone and he has no more pain. Can I tell you something? This man don't know that I know his story. I'm going to share this with you. I saw this man while I was coming. He came with me in the same flight. I, he said he know him. I said, go tell that man, he shall not die but live the set the Lord. Father, I rebuke every cancer cell out of his body. I declare life in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost what happened to that young lady something awesome yes Bishop, was happening. Woman, yes she had pain in the stomach serious pain and, and she was experiencing those pains she wanted to go to the washroom but she felt the presence of god so strong upon her right now and so she's up here the pain is gone come it's on gone. somebody praise him come here honey come here come here Touch. somebody give god glory the Holy Ghost upon this young lady. I cancel every assignment of the enemy. And I pray that you will touch her in Jesus' name. Never, no more, no more, no more, no more, no more. Yes, excited. yes, Bishop. Go ahead, Pastor. He had, he was diagnosed with cancer. Uh huh. Cancer, and the lump disappeared tonight. It disappeared. Yes. Look, this man it disappeared. The lump disappeared. Come, 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 come. Tell him. Get out the microphone. Tell him. Tell him what happened. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. To God be the glory tonight. His lump was bigger than this, and it's now shrinking. 
and he had myeloma. 90% of his bone marrow has been absorbed with cancer. But tonight we, we pray in the name of Jesus. It is done. It is done. It's a finished job. Come on, Nicole, take us there. So I pray that Jesus began a good work in you. Oh my God, I can hear you. Something is going on in this land right now. To God. Do you know Jesus? Beautiful. Lift up your hands. Keep singing. Go, go to ahead. God. Father, I release the anointing. Be the glory. Touch. Let's just to keep God. serving God tonight. Be the Pastor, glory. what else can we ask God for? But these awesome miracles. Complete God. Worship team, you have set a platform for this tonight. And I pray that the anointing rests upon your life. I declare as of tonight, Nicole, every time you open your voice, miracles will happen. Quiet healing will take place. Tonight, I want to assure you that God is taking you to a new dimension. Talk to me, Pastor. So that yes, right. yes, 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 yes. Uh, uh, she couldn't. She had pain in her, in her right leg. Her right leg. My okay. God. Okay. And, and and now lift your leg. Lift your leg and show him. Okay. That's the left and the right. Okay. She, listen to me. The, the pain is gone. Can it's somebody gone. praise God? God. Hallelujah. Come here. Why are you crying? When people cry, I know the presence of God is doing something. Can I have a hug? To God. God bless you. Mama. No more pain. Now, now, Jesus, do you love him tonight? Look at her cry. Oh, God, love you. For the thing Jesus. Trinidad. Jesus is visiting you right now. Did you hear what I said, Trinidad and Tobago? Jesus is visiting you right now. Mama, not only that Jesus is taking away your physical pain, but he's also taking away your emotional pain right now. Oh, Rabo Shanna. I saw God is bringing back your family together. I hear the Spirit is saying, I will restore every one of your family members, said the Lord. To God. Saints, can we put our hands together for Jesus tonight? You know, sometimes, I, I know this probably might not be what you're accustomed to, but I want every person, hold the music a little bit for me. I felt such an awesome presence that sometimes God says, I don't need nobody to help me to work miracles. And that is what exactly he's doing tonight. Sometimes I have to, honor the Holy Spirit and step out of the Holy Spirit play, uh, way so that he can manifest God's power and ladies and gentlemen I know I did not preach here as yet but there's somebody in this crowd is saying I want my life to be changed tonight after what I've seen God started removing cysts healing pains and delivering and setting free if you're saying there I want an experience with this Jesus that I've never never met before I want you to not only walk but run here and give me a big hug up here right now. Say, Bishop, I want Jesus right now. I want my life to be different. Why don't you come right now? Actually, I would invite you straight up to the platform. Come here and say, I want Jesus right now. Come, come, come. Come, don't be afraid. Ushers, don't stop them. You just saw God tonight. Probably God healed you last night. You did not make a, a decision. But you're saying, I'm not going to allow tonight to pass me. Can we give God praise? Heaven is rejoicing because people are coming to have an experience. Bring them up. Without him, I can't do anything. Jesus. Let them Without come. him. You want Jesus tonight. 
Sir, God bless you so much for making Without the decision to serve him, Jesus. Man, God bless you so I much tonight. Nigel, God bless you that you will surrender to him. Like a ship Bring them up. A that mother that want to see change in that son or daughter, give your life to Jesus Without and what Jesus changed them. Oh my God, I'm excited. Bring them up, bring them up, bring them up. Bring them up. My God, Pastor, this is the miracle that God needs. This is the greatest miracle. What just happened wasn't as great as what's happening right now. The Bible said when somebody is healed, heaven doesn't stop. But when somebody received Jesus as personal Lord, this man is feeling the anointing right up now. When people come to know Jesus as Lord, the entire heaven stops. Without My God, bring those children to Jesus. Ladies and gentlemen, keep coming wherever you are. I still Jesus felt there's a mother here. You're crying and you're crying and you're crying for your children. You're going through a lot. Come here. That wife that has been going through so much with your husband, come up here. Surrender to Jesus tonight. Jesus is the answer. For the world to change That's right, ushers, you're doing wonderful You're doing wonderful Amen, amen Is there anybody else? I will boss this whole Pastors, do you see what God is doing? I'm telling you, God is visiting Trinidad and Tobago Listen, the devil is no longer in control Jesus Christ is the answer. This is what makes me excited tonight. Come, come to Jesus. If you have some questions in the corners of your mind, traces of discouragement and peace you cannot find. Reflections of your past That's seem to face you every day. The salvation and the restoration but of people's lives. There's one life. thing I do know that Jesus is the one. Wow, keep coming. Send them up. Send them up. Send them up. I assured you, Jesus is the answer tonight. Above him, there's no other. Jesus is the way. Lay hand upon yourself right now and pray this. Say, Father, I thank you for my salvation. I love you, Lord. And now I want to walk with you and help me, dear Father, in my new life. Now I want you to pray this wholeheartedly. Satan, I renounce you. Whatever hold you have over my life, I give you a disapproval. You're illegal now in my life. Jesus is Lord over my life. And wherever you are in my life and in my home, I command you to leave. I give permission to God to cleanse me from the crown of my head to the sole of my feet. In Jesus' name. Amen. Look at me. Look at me. I want to be the first one to congratulate you and welcome you into the kingdom of the most high God. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together. Wasn't that very powerful? Yes, that was a truly a life-changing uh, moment for even my personal life and so many other lives that experience Jesus Christ as personal Lord and Savior. And so ladies and gentlemen, if you're believing God for a miracle, you can receive that miracle right now, right here this morning. All I want you to do is to, to stretch your hand towards that television screen right now. And I will believe God for your miracle. You know, we're living in a time where there's so much chaos, there's so much uh, confusion, there's so much, the, the, the economy is so bad, and so much uh, 
uh, stress that we're going through. But let me tell you something. Jesus Christ is the answer. And this morning, I want to pray for you and I will believe God. Probably you're on your way rushing out to go to work right now or whatever you're doing or staying home babysitting the children or, or just have a day off or whatever it is. If you're in the hospital, in a nursing home, wherever you are, I will believe God for your healing. Father, I thank you for this person that is watching me right now that are believing you for a miracle. Your word declared, God, that healing is the children's bread and with you all things are possible. And I declare and I decree right now healing in Jesus' name. I rebuke that cancer. I command that cancer to go right now. In the name of Jesus, Father, I pray for that man and that woman that is watching me right now. I rebuke diabetes, hypertension, whatever sickness or disease that is in their body, I rebuke it in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. And I command it to go right now in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. I know the same God that healed in that miracle service and in that clip that you have just saw, that same God is healing you right now. In Jesus' name, feel free to pick up your phone and call our prayer line at 718-725-1400. I've got powerful prayer intercessors and prayer partners that are standing by to pray with you. And if you're ever in the Queens area, uh, visit me. We have uh, three power pack life-changing miracle services um, every Friday night at 7 p.m., Sunday morning at 8 a.m. and 10.30 a.m. Our doors are open. Come in. We will lay hand and we will pray with you. Amen. And it's always a joy and a privilege to come and share the good news and the love of Jesus Christ with you. Ladies and gentlemen, one of the encouragement I want to encourage you with, partner with us today. If you're looking at this broadcast, this, these broadcasts is, uh, on our television programs are changing so many lives. Uh, and you can be a part of helping, helping others. Help us help others. So join with us, partner with us, visit our website at www.robinhealingministry.com. Amen. God bless you. I love you in Jesus' name. Develop superior, highly charged prayers, waging spiritual warfare. Right at your fingertips, you now have mighty, dynamic prayers that will supercharge your life. You will see the enemy utterly put to shame and rendered helpless as he comes to understand that you have taken authority over situations and circumstances in your life, your spiritual muscles more powerful, your faith strengthened, and your level of awareness increased. Hallelujah! You no longer need to feel helpless in difficult situations. Pray these prayers and build on them as the Holy Spirit leads. Purchase your copy of Waging Spiritual Warfare CD and companion book today, www.robinhealingministries.com or call 718-725-1400. Thank you for watching today's broadcast. If you are ever in the greater New York area, we invite you to worship with us at one of our weekly Miracle Healing and Deliverance Crusades on Friday evenings at 7 p.m. and Sunday morning worship experience at 8 a.m. or 10.30 a.m. at the Tabernacle of Emmanuel Full Gospel Assemblies, 13317 101 Avenue, South Richmond Hill, New York. Our services can also be seen streaming live at www.robinhealingministry.com.